Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be all about how I became a social media manager. I get questions all the time about my job, what it's like being a social media manager, and this is one of the top asked questions too is how I decided to become a social media manager, how I became one, and so I have a lot of tips and advice and my story. I will definitely be doing more videos about being a social media manager and there are always work week in my life vlogs up on my channel so you can check those out down below. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below with questions, requests, anything you might have, let me know in the comments down below. Jumping into this video, I wanted to first talk about how I became a social media manager, how I decided I wanted to be a social media manager, kind of the experience I had from college with internships and educational opportunities. For my major, I was a journalism and media studies major with an emphasis in public relations. Obviously, that's not directly correlated to social media. There is no social media major yet at most colleges. So I picked this for a few specific reasons. I really wanted more hands-on experience as a student and that's kind of what this major gave me. I did a lot of projects with real world clients that I wouldn't have gotten if I did a more general major like comm. And then while the major itself was not social media, I did get to take a lot of social media classes um, as electives. So I took social media marketing, I took um, digital media, advertising. I took a class that literally was all about Facebook groups and we made Facebook groups and kind of bargained them. I feel like I'm glad I have all these other skills um, related to journalism and PR and not just a bunch of social media skills, if that makes sense. I think this major really prepared me to be a well-rounded digital marketing media person. And then since my major was kind of more broad and not specifically related to what I wanted to do, I made sure to get internships and extracurricular opportunities that were more social media focused. In multiple clubs, I had social media related positions or writing related positions, things that would kind of boost up my skills that I had from my degree. So it showed that I could apply them in more real world situations. And then also I got multiple social media internships. I had two different jobs on campus as a communication slash social media intern. And then I also interned for um, a small local business in San Diego and helped them with social media for a while. And then I also had a social media internship at an agency. And I'm really glad I got the social media experience at an agency because I feel like that was more likely what I was going to have straight out of college, kind of working with many clients all at once, not just one place working on their social media, and that is what I ended up doing. So I'm glad that I got that agency experience, and while it was a lot bigger company than I work at now, it prepared me really well and showed me how to balance a lot of different clients and working on a bunch of different um, accounts at once. Next, I wanna talk about applying to jobs. I think this is something that every college grad pretty much now struggles with. Maybe not all, some of my friends got jobs right out of college, but a lot of people struggle to find jobs. The job market is not hard, but there's not as many starting positions and starting positions. You need a lot more experience than like 10 years ago. They want you to be a real, really well-rounded candidate and have a lot of experience. And while that is good in some instances, it also is hard because you might know you have all the skills to do the job, but they might not see that. That is something I struggled with. But yeah, you just have to be patient. It is a long process applying to jobs, especially as a social media manager. There are, um, I feel like, not as many job opportunities as people right now want that job, if that makes sense. I think in five years, there will be an abundance of these jobs because people will realize more that they need social media managers, but right now it is still kind of an up and coming career field. For me, I found Indeed to be the best place to apply to jobs, and then I did apply to some jobs on LinkedIn too, but I mainly applied on Indeed. This is just because I found the most amount of jobs on there. I know some people apply specifically on company websites, but I found Indeed to be the most helpful because there's so many applications in once. I applied to jobs mostly in San Diego and then also remote, um, just because there was only so many job opportunities in San Diego, 
and I was okay working remote. I felt like that was something that I could do because I'm pretty good about being self-sufficient and working on my own time. If you're applying to remote jobs, you definitely need to comb through, especially on Indeed. There are a lot of things that say remote, but aren't actually remote. They might be work from home one days. So you really need to go through and apply to jobs that make sense for you. Don't apply if they say, remote but need to be based in New York if you're not based in New York. That was kind of my experience applying to jobs. It did take me, like I said, five months. Um, in October, I applied for the job that I have now. I had two phone interviews for it because it is remote. The first phone interview, they told me that there were 100 candidates and they narrowed it down to 10 and that if I made it to the first interview, there would be five people competing for two spots. So I had my first interview got invited to have a second interview, so I knew there were five people and two spots, so I felt like my chances were pretty good, and I felt like my conversations on the phone had gone really well. And so this position is technically based in LA, but it is remote. My account manager lives in Georgia, like we have people all over, so um, I do have to go to LA every so often to do staff meetings or do different projects, but 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm based in San Diego where I live. Next, I wanted to talk about resumes and some things you can do to boost your resume if you're not finding a job right away. I personally had a design resume, a pretty resume, I don't know what to call it, but I've heard a lot of mixed things about this. I personally had a more design resume just because I thought social media manager is in a creative field and that's the position I was seeking. So I thought it made sense to have it a little bit more graphically designed than just like literally black text on a white piece of paper and call it a day. I feel like that's really boring. So I did have it a little bit designed. If you are going to do it more designed focused, I would try and do it in a neutral color scheme. Um, I know like my favorite color right now is blush pink, but I didn't want to do mine in blush pink just because I thought it was not as professional. So I did like a nice neutral green color. So either gray, blue, green, just kind of professional neutral colors. That's what I would suggest. But again, if you're doing it more design, do what fits you and what you think is best. Some things to make sure you include on your resume are contact info, your work experience, your education, any skill sets you have. I put any kind of social media programs and stuff I was proficient in, made sure to include that in skills. And then I also had all the organizations I was involved in in college just to show that I was an involved student, was involved in different things and did different positions in those different orgs. So I thought that was good. An easy way to boost your resume if you're not finding a job right away is to do certifications. There are so many free options online to do to boost your resume. I had a Hootsuite certification from one of my classes in college. So that was on my resume. I don't think that one is free, but um, I know it was offered to me through a course. So if you're still in college, you can look into that as an option. And then between college and me applying to jobs, I did a Google Analytics um, certification because I thought that would be a good kind of skill um, or program to learn. That's a free certification. I was gonna do Google Ads, but I did not end up doing that. So those are two free ones, Google Analytics, Google's, Google Ads. That will definitely boost your resume. It'll show that you are proficient in those things and ads definitely especially is becoming such more important thing to use on social media so showing that you know how to use that at least on a basic level is good and then hubspot also has a ton of free certifications there's ones in social media content marketing email marketing all those things there are so many free certifications and programs and online courses that you can take and if you are waiting and just applying to jobs and you don't have anything to do these are good things to do that will also help you in your job hunt and you'll be able to talk about those things in interviews um, and show that you are proficient in all these skills. If you want to become a social media manager, you're in college still and that's the job you want to have after college or you have a different job and you're looking to move over to being a social media manager, I have some things you can do to get started. Some things you can do to gain experience are one, build your own brand. I have a YouTube channel. I have a blog. I have all these social media things that show that I know what I'm doing, if that makes sense. One of the jobs I got on campus as a social media intern, 
they looked at my YouTube channel and that was one of the reasons I got that job because I showed that I had those skills and I knew how to market myself and I was presentable on camera because that was a requirement of the position was that I was comfortable being on camera and obviously if I have a YouTube channel and talk to a camera and can present myself well, shows that I can do that. The second thing you can do is get an internship. If you are in college, take any and all internship opportunities that come to you. I had so many internship and extracurricular experiences and still I feel like I didn't have enough going into applying to jobs because they wanted two years of experience for a starting level job and I only had that because of my internships and still even then they don't always take internships into consideration. So literally take any and all opportunities you have, help out your friend with a club if they need social media work, help out, do whatever you can to build up your portfolio and gain more experience. And the third thing you can do to gain more experience is to work with a small business for free or low cost. One of the internships I did was with a small business and they had applications and wanted people to apply, but also if there's a small business in your local area that you just really like, a coffee shop, anything, and they don't have a social media or don't have a good social media, Offer your services, say, hey, I'm in college, could I intern for you and do some free social media work for you to build my resume? Literally no small business is going to deny you. And while it sucks to have to do work unpaid, that's kind of the reality of the world right now is that you need to gain experience. So that would be such a good way to do it. You'd have like a whole portfolio of work to show them any kind of small business works if you have a family friend or know someone who has their own small business and they don't really have social media offer your services offer to help build them a facebook page build them an instagram page write some blogs for them these things are so so helpful when you're applying to jobs to have direct experience and direct physical things to show them because they don't just want what you learned in the classroom they want to see physical work that you've done and physical growth that you've done for different clients. I hope this video was helpful if you want to become a social media manager, if you're thinking about this as a career. I absolutely love being a social media manager. It has been my dream job for so long now and I'm so glad that that is what I'm working in out of college. I'm so glad I found a job in this field. Like I said earlier, if there are any other topics related to this that you want me to discuss, let me know in the comments down below if there's any questions you have. If you want to see more of what I do, let me know and I can definitely do that. There is another week in my life coming out soon. I know you guys have really been loving those and I like making them. They're fun. It's hard to show stuff because it's like private client information, but I try and show as much as I can and talk about what I do. If you have anything, like I said, you want to talk about or want me to talk about, let me know in the comments down below. I think that is it for this video. I hope. I got everything out that I wanted to talk about. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for new videos every single week. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.